What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Divided Nation News. Appreciate y'all tuning in. This episode, I'm going to just say one thing about Steve, possible piece of shit, Nick. This fool made a very, very, very serious claim. Not only did he get uh, the rumors flowing on the internet, but there's a couple things that I did and some research, really just some, some basic Google searches, and uh, I probably should have checked it before, but like I said in my video, I said, I don't know if this is true. I hope it is, but this is what we're being told. This is what Steve Pachetnik is claiming, okay? So really what it comes down to is Steve said that there is a blockchain encryption on the ballots to where a DHS can track them. Well, the massive contradiction with that is, is that the states and the cities, they print out their own ballots. Unless there's some sort of new sting operation, and there really is that type of operation, to where the federal government stepped up to actually protect this election, that would be great. But at the end of the day, massive contradictions. And I just want to say, Steve, from me to you, if you are lying about this, dude, mm, your reputation or whatever reputation you have, your credibility will be shot, dude. Right down the toilet, bro. Straight up. Like, no one will ever listen to you and take you seriously again. And if anyone ever does, they'd be a fool to do so. The reason I want to make this video is because I am seeing a lot of discrepancies. I am seeing a lot of contradictions now that I'm thinking about it. And I thought, you know, I was going to wait couple weeks. I was going to say, you know what, let me give it a couple weeks. Let me see how things go. Let me see if there is an actual sting operation. You know, maybe this might uh, be premature that I'm posting this video, but I just want to say that it seems like this fool Steve Pachetnik might have just put us all on and got our hopes up and started this room. I don't know if he's trying to get more views for his channel, trying to get more attention, or if he's just a sorry lying sack of shit that honestly just wanted to just make outrageous absurd claims and say oh i got government insiders and i know people in government and they told me there's going to be arrests and there's going to be this and that and they do have an encryption they are tracking it they know where the ballots are they've been thrown away yada yada dude where where, where is the press conference where's the arrests where is it where, where's any evidence of it steve man let me tell you something. I'm not familiar with you. I literally had seen you maybe once or twice before I posted that video. And I did tell everyone in the video, I said, I don't know if this is true, but this is what this dude is claiming and this is what we know. This is what he is reporting based on his alleged inside sources. Allegedly, DHS made these ballots. Now, I think it would be amazing if the federal government did something like that and stepped their game up to really protect the election, especially this election. One of the most important elections ever, right? Here we are in this situation. You got all these people making claims and a guy like me, I'm just trying to clear away the BS and I'm trying to find the answers like a lot of people. And that's the reason why I have to be my own journalist because you can't you can't trust so many things that you hear in the lamestream mainstream on the internet. It's just like one thing after the other. It's just like, God, how long is this going to be going on? It's just ridiculous. But as far as this dude, Steve, I'm seeing a lot of contradictions. And when it really, really comes down to it, the states print out their own ballots and uh, DHS doesn't take any part in uh, tracking ballots. If they did, it would be a first. Um, I highly doubt it based on the, the basic information that I found. I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. I wanted to put that information out there because I think in our hearts and minds, especially if, you know, as, as far as Republicans go, and conservatives, we want it to be true. Yeah, that would be amazing if the federal government was tracking this election and really protecting the integrity of it. But at this point, it seems like uh, Steve Possible Piece of Shit Nick was just a straight up liar. And after this, and it turns out, it, hey, listen, if I'm wrong, I'll apologize if I preempt it and I was, you know, a little uh, premature on my report. But I can tell you this much right now, it seems like uh, it's false. And, and, that's, and that's sad and unfortunate. And I, apparently this guy's pretty desperate to get viewers by putting something out there and saying, oh, I got government inside sources. <laughs> Anybody who tells me that they have government inside sources, 99.999999% of the time, I'm going to tell somebody BS. I call bull. 
I mean, come on. I'm going to be like, look at somebody like most of the time, like, really? Oh, yeah, you have, mm -hmm. yeah, you have sources in the government that told you that? Really? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, okay. We'll see. Yeah. So I want to give people the benefit of the doubt, but then at the same time, I definitely don't want to give a platform to liars and deceivers. And based on what I'm evaluating now in these last few days, it seems like uh, the claims that he were making, you know, not only were they false, but it contradicts um, what DHS does. But would it be amazing if the federal government was tracking the, the ballots or the majority of ballots or they had some sort of system or something? Yes, that'd be great. Somebody needs to do something to protect the integrity of elections. I, I believe there does need to be election reform. Something. Something's got to change because we keep doing what we're doing. We keep getting what we got, plain and simple. So that's all I got to say about that. Uh, if I am wrong, I might put an apology out there, but I highly doubt it at this point that uh, that is wrong because, like I said, DHS, it, it contradicts the narrative as far as the basic simplicity of the states put out and print their own ballots. And what about the people also, one more thing, what about uh, the people who go to the the uh, the election uh, polling offices, right? And they go to make their vote and they're like, oh, I forgot my ballot at home. Can you print me up one? Print you up one right there. How do they get what? DHS, the government, the feds are tracking that too? Maybe it's possible. I doubt it though. Highly, highly doubt it. So seems like we all have been taken for a run on this one, but who knows? Maybe something will change or maybe something will come out in the news and be exposed in the weeks to come. We shall see. So in the meantime, please be sure to like and share and uh, appreciate y'all for tuning in. Check y'all in the next one.